god. Is this my Pinterest dreams? I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing. This video is sponsored by Squarespace. Today I'm doing a complete overhaul of my closet. I'm going to give away a bunch of old stuff. I bought a bunch of new stuff. I'm gonna try it on for you guys. And hopefully this video doesn't go wrong because something about trying on clothes usually makes me wanna cry. So first, let me just show you all what I want to dress like. Lots of plaid pants. Love a good pair of plaid pants and I don't own any of them. If you can tell, I don't like a lot of color. I like a lot of neutrals, black, white, etc. I really like sneakers and I really like big baggy jeans. I had all these things in mind, all these photos in mind and I did a ton of online shopping. So we're gonna go through all the stuff I bought. I'm gonna do a big ass try on haul. But first, of course, we need to go through my closet. Welcome to my closet. I have a good amount of clothes. I don't have that much. I don't have some big ass walk-in closet. Okay, I'm not rich. So let's just talk about the top. This lovely little number right here. <laughs> this is the only coat that I own. And it looks like it was made for a five-year-old. I apologize if you own a coat like this. This super cute, like really, really cute shirt, as you can see. But does this go with my vibe? No, it doesn't. What I've learned is that just because I like something doesn't mean I should wear it. So if I'm going for a specific aesthetic, if I'm going for a vibe, I need to stick with that and I need to just block out all the other stuff even if I like it because I'm gonna end up really confused if I just wear everything that I like, you know? This I just bought and I love it. Summertime. These I don't wear, but I will. This is just me lying to myself for 10 minutes straight. Love it, love it. Do I love this? Would the people on my Pinterest board wear this? I don't think they would, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Great for the collar. Black sweatshirt, need it. Gotta have it, gotta have it. Gotta keep that, I don't make the rules. This one's a no. Legitimately never going to wear in my life. And walk your fine eyes out the door. Here's what we got, guys. Okay, guys, so as you know, I'm going to Goodwill. Gonna drop off some clothes, but I had an idea. Maybe while I'm at Goodwill, I could do like a fun little challenge. I say it's fun, but it just sounds stressful. Where I try to find an outfit in five minutes. So let's go to Goodwill and try to find an outfit in five minutes to add to my haul. And I say, oh, Okay guys, I got five minutes on the clock. I'm sprinting to the t-shirts. Short, short sleeve shirts. No, I want t-shirts. Where the fuck are the t-shirts? Guys, I literally have three minutes left and I'm freaking out because everything seems to be very ugly. You guys need to accept it and just move on to the next thing because, you know, I tried my best. I found these pants. They look like they might be way too big for me, but they're kind of cute. I've literally been sprinting around and I picked up like eight things that I barely even looked at. So I think I'm going to buy them just on whim and hope that they're not ugly. <laughs> Guys, I don't think I've ever been that stressed in my life. Hey guys, I'm back. So I bought stuff from two ethical stores and then everything else is from Depop. So the first thing I got is this jacket. Oh my God, guys, it is a Hard Rock Cafe jacket. And it says this. Very cool, very nice. I also got this t-shirt. This girl gave it to me for like 10 bucks shipped. So it was a pretty good deal. I've been wanting to get like band tees and stuff, but they're really hard to find at Goodwill. So I just kind of searched it up on Depop. All right, guys, moving on. The first store is called Athens. Athens. Their packaging is 100% compostable, which is amazing. First thing are these pants. But I thought they would go really well with a lot of stuff. Like maybe I could wear these with a t-shirt with my Air Force One. I genuinely have no idea what I'm doing. Dude, does this look good? Is this bag weird with this? Hee hee, tee hee. All right, moving on. Then this is probably my favorite thing I got and I haven't even opened it yet. Oh my God. This is an oversized t-shirt. Look how cute it is, guys. Oh my God. I can't wait to wear this. I feel like I can wear it with so many things and it gives me that 70s band tee vibe. Okay, moving on. Another shirt. This is like a basic fitted shirt. So I thought this would go really, really well with a lot of stuff. Again, I tried to pick stuff that was on the more basic side of things so that I could mix and match a lot. Oh my God. 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 These are shorts. So I really like these shorts. However, they kind of make me look a little weird in the front. Do you guys see what I'm saying? Do you understand? Can you tell on the camera? Am I making this up? It just is like... Next is this cropped crew neck. See, this is where I get confused. This, I don't think this looks good. And then the last thing I got is probably the favorite thing out of everything I bought. And it is this pair of high waist wide leg pants. Oh my God, is this my Pinterest dream? Guys, I'm sad. Look at my pants. They don't fit me. 
They just don't fit at all. Ugh. I'm just so thick. Honestly, I should just start wearing them just like this. Like nobody would know, right? If I just walked around like this. Don't be suspicious, don't. Nobody would know. Next, I got a bunch of stuff from the store change. Okay, so this one is a cropped t-shirt that says, only respecting women you're attracted to isn't respecting women. Hell yeah, man. Next thing I got are these sweatpants. I would have gotten like a sweatsuit, but I've never been one to wear matching sets, so I didn't want to get one just yet, you know? I'm trying to branch out, but not that much. This outfit is especially exciting for me because when I'm like chilling, I always look ugly. <laughs> and by that, I just mean that I'm always wearing like crusty, dusty, musty, old sweatpants. So I wanted to get an outfit that I could wear that looks nice, but is still extremely comfortable. Also, they use 100% recycled plastic, so that's really nice. So they have these like knit, oh my God, this is so high quality. They have these like knit, like thick knit cropped tank tops. And I just got this like off white one. And then I got the same one, except I got it in black. Okay, I almost forgot about this stuff. I went into Goodwill and I gave myself five minutes. The only shirt that I found that I actually liked because I was in there for so little time was this shirt. And it's, it's cute. I know this is the wrong pair of pants to wear this with, but this shirt I just think is is not gonna work. I got two pairs of pants. I went to the jean section, I was flying. I was like, but these are straight legged light wash jeans and I don't really own a lot of light wash jeans. Guys, they don't fit me. They're very large. The question is, are they ugly? My butt looks like I'm wearing a diaper, so there's that. Literally this whole video is just gonna be me saying, is this ugly? Yes or no, comment down below. And the last two things I got, Oh, I didn't know I got this. Guys, I was in such a rush. I don't even know what I bought. This is like a child's shirt. Labeled preteen and the brand is spoiler alert. So if you guys are watching this and you feel like doing a whole wardrobe revamp, just please number one, make sure you're buying ethical. Just if you can avoid fast fashion sites or if you wanna get something from fast fashion sites, just search the same exact item on Depop and first see if someone's reselling it there. It's not always a great idea to completely redo your whole wardrobe and give away all your clothes just cause you're excited about it. Like cause the fashion industry creates so much waste. It's horrible for our planet. So please just keep that in mind. I appreciate you all. I love you all. And I will see you guys in my next video. Is it ugly? Is it not? I I don't know if it is ugly or not. I don't know. This is enormous. That's what she said. No time. But she did. No time. So if you don't know, Squarespace is just a website that helps you build your website. It can help you connect with your audience and generate revenue through gated members only content. You can manage your members, send email communications and leverage audience insights all on one platform. They also have some really cool features that can help you create a community like a commenting section, kind of like here on YouTube. They have third party extensions called Squarespace extensions that can help you manage inventory, promote products and streamline bookkeeping. And you can also display posts from your other social medias onto your Squarespace website. So guys, if you want to try it out, go to squarespace.com for a free trial and then when you're ready to set up your website, go to squarespace.com slash Danny Gallego for 10% off your first website or domain. Hey guys, you watch me make over my clothes. If you want, you can watch me make over my body and my hair and my face. Cause that's what I did in my last video. Or if you want, you can check out this video right here. Whatever you want, have a little marathon. See you later.